Good morning everybody. I'm going to be playing a quick three hole match and talking you through how I play my shots and see if you can learn anything from the way I play. Alright, so I found an opponent who is a level 92 master and we are playing at Royal St. George's. First hole is a par 3. We've got a 17 to 19 mile an hour tailwind, 158 yards. So I'll be looking to play this at about 150 yard power with some backspin due to the fact that the ball is going to be um, dropping and rolling quite a bit on the green due to the extra speed it will have um, due to the tailwind got to be aiming quite far left which is a bit of a risk because this hole has a little bunker there on the left actually um, but you don't want to be too far left you want the ball to start left and come in and drift towards the hole but the pin placement makes this hole very very difficult so walking away with a par here won't be a necessary won't necessarily be a bad thing um, as the pin placement as you can see is very very close here to the left uh, giving you very little movement, very little space to bring the ball in. So I'll be starting with an 8 iron. And uh, I'll be giving it pretty much ba a lot of backspin. I'm uh, going to aim quite far left. And hopefully the ball is going to land in this region somewhere. And just either spin back a little bit towards the hole. Very difficult to get the ball over here near the hole because there's a, a downhill slope over here. It makes it very, very difficult. Alright, so let's just hit the ball and see what happens. Okay, didn't start as far left as I aimed. I did miss the ding slightly on the right. Uh, the distance is pretty good as you can see. The hole's 158, I got it 159. So my accuracy was spot on there. Uh, the plan was obviously to land the ball more in this region over here behind the pin so that I'd have a shorter putt for birdie. But now I've got a long putt for probably about, what, 12 feet or so. Just watching my opponent. Green speed is slow, so there shouldn't be too much break. Alright, my opponent's missed his birdie on the left. Alright, I've got a left to right left to right breaking putt over here. Always have a look at the green view just to get an idea of how it how the ball will move across the green. It's not something I do every single time I play, but uh can be useful. Alright, uh, we're not gonna be aiming too far outside the left, but the ball is definitely gonna break like this towards the hole. Drained it. That was a nice way to start the day with a birdie. This is my very first hole. All right, so here we have fairly short par four. It is drivable if the conditions are favourable. The wind is coming more from the side now. Um, have a look from the front again. It is a somewhat of a tailwind, so I'm going to take a risk over here aim it quite far left because it, the ball is going to be drifting this way. So we want to start right, and right from the player's perspective, but left from the current view we're looking at. I'm going to use a lot of backspin to try and get the ball to, to fly in the air. And uh, yeah, the wind is taking that ball far away. And we're in the sand. Was a Alright, so my opponent just hit his ball onto the green uh, with the second shot. My tee shot landed in the bunker, which is not great. But we'll see what we can do to get out of here. You want to aim right because the wind is definitely going to push the ball left. Plus, if you look at the slope, the slope actually looks to be going slightly right to left, 
on the right side of the pin. However, on the left side of the pin, it does seem to be going left to right. All right, so we want to give this about hmm, that much. All right, as you can see, that is a pretty decent out from the bunker. And I should still get a birdie. And now it's my time to also get a birdie. What I'm going to be doing here is aiming. It's a slow green, so there isn't much that you need to do. It's not a very difficult putt. But uh, definitely is breaking left to right, as you can see by those lines over there. I'll be aiming on the left edge. I always reverse the camera angle for putts like this. Just give it enough power to make sure it gets there. Break slightly to the right. The hole. Right, final hole, one stroke up. Right, we've got a slight tailwind. This shot can be risky. There is water over there. Water over there. Um, hmm. It's always a risk deciding should I go over the water or should I lay up I think I can clear the water six feet that's playing about 326 Let me get some flight no, that didn't start anywhere where I aimed That's a huge well drive! Side, and it finished well on that side. Just a quick note that uh, ball distances and obviously your club selection, your driver, will determine how far you can hit the ball. Uh, I know that I can get about 320 with my current Titleist TS3 driver and the um, tailor-made balls with 3.5 distance that I use. I know that I usually get 320 uh, with drives on those, but uh, your distances will vary based on your driver and the balls that you use. Alright, so my opponent has landed his shot just short of the green. I'll be going for the green. 209 yards out, so this will mean I'll be using my 4 iron with 210 rating with a touch of backspin. Get the ball to stop on the green. Got to aim well, well right of this hole due to the wind. So what I want to do is aim over here, hopefully the ball lands in this region over here and feeds its way either to the flag or behind the flag. Uh, it's not an easy shot and if you miss the ding it's going to be even worse. Alright, let's do it. Okay, that's great. I've got it close. The plan worked out. Distance rolling towards the hole. Sets me up for an eagle putt. Alright, so my opponent missed his uh, birdie putt. And uh, I'm putting now for the win. Left to right putt. A little bit tricky, seven feet, but this is for an eagle. Hopefully I'll get it. Just gonna aim outside the left edge here. As you can see it's breaking from the time the ball leaves the ball the putter, it's gonna be breaking left to right. It's quite a fierce break, so we want to aim outside left, feed it back to the hole. And it's in. Eagle. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can learn something from that. Um, I scored a birdie and an eagle if I remember correctly. Scorecard. Actually, yeah, two, uh, two birdies and an eagle. So that's a minus four scorecard on three holes, which is pretty decent. And that's for the first game that I played today, being the 2nd of January. 
like, comment, subscribe, and uh, look forward to some new videos coming soon. Thank you.